Iron. Iron carries oxygen through your blood. It makes hemoglobin, the protein inside red blood cells. Hemoglobin picks up oxygen in your lungs and delivers it to every part of your body. Iron also makes myoglobin, which holds oxygen in your muscles. Iron helps enzymes create energy in your cells. When iron is too low, oxygen cannot reach your tissues properly. You feel very tired. Your skin becomes pale. You feel dizzy when you stand. Your brain works slower because it needs oxygen. This problem is called iron deficiency anemia. It affects millions of people around the world. Women need more iron because they lose blood during menstruation. You can get iron from beef, liver, chicken, beans, lentils, spinach, and fortified cereals. Iron from meat absorbs better than iron from plants. Vegetarians need to eat more iron-rich foods to get enough. Magnesium. Magnesium controls more than 300 reactions in your body. It turns food into energy that your cells can use. It builds proteins by connecting amino acids. It makes your muscles move correctly. It keeps your heart beating at a steady rhythm. Magnesium moves calcium and potassium in and out of your cells. This movement lets your nerves send signals. When magnesium is low, your muscles cramp without warning. You cannot sleep well. You feel more stress and worry. You feel exhausted all the time. Low magnesium for a long time raises your blood pressure. It makes your heartbeat irregular. It makes your body resist insulin. Most modern foods do not have enough magnesium. Even soil has less magnesium now than before. You can find magnesium in pumpkin seeds, almonds, cashews, spinach, black beans, avocado, and dark chocolate. Your cells cannot make or use energy without magnesium. Zinc. Zinc helps your body grow and repair itself. It helps your immune system fight infections. When a wound heals or cells divide, zinc manages this process. Zinc turns on white blood cells that find and kill bacteria and viruses. This is why people with low zinc get sick very often. Zinc also helps make insulin and testosterone. It builds your DNA. It keeps your sense of taste and smell working. When zinc is too low, wounds heal very slowly. Hair falls out. You feel less hungry. You get infections easily. You can find zinc in oysters, red meat, chicken, pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, and cashews. Your body does not store zinc well. You need to eat zinc every day. Iodine. Iodine powers your thyroid gland. Your thyroid is a small organ in your neck. It controls your metabolism. Metabolism means how fast your body uses energy. Your thyroid needs iodine to make hormones. These hormones control how many calories you burn, how warm your body stays, and how fast your cells grow. Without enough iodine, your thyroid cannot make these hormones. Everything in your body slows down. You gain weight even when you eat normally. You feel cold all the time. Your skin becomes very dry. Your mind feels foggy. You feel extremely tired. Your thyroid may grow larger. This creates a visible lump in your neck called a goiter. Many people in the world still do not get enough iodine. This happens in places where the soil has no iodine, and people do not use iodized salt. You can get iodine from iodized salt, seaweed, fish, shrimp, eggs, and dairy products. People who eat mostly processed foods often use salt without iodine. This puts them at risk. Calcium. Calcium is the mineral your body has the most of. 99% of it lives in your bones and teeth. It makes them hard and strong. The other 1% moves through your blood and soft tissues. It does important jobs there. Calcium makes your muscles contract. This includes making your heart beat. Calcium lets your nerves send messages. It helps your blood clot when you get cut. If you do not eat enough calcium, your body takes it from your bones. It does this to keep your heart and nerves working. After many years, this makes your bones weak. They break easily. You can get calcium from milk, yogurt, cheese, fortified plant milk, almonds, sardines, and dark green vegetables. Your body needs vitamin D to absorb calcium properly. Potassium. Potassium controls fluids and electrical signals in your body. Potassium stays inside your cells. Sodium stays outside your cells. Together, they create electricity. This electricity makes your nerves work. It makes your muscles move. Your heart needs this balance to beat normally. Potassium also lowers blood pressure. It does this by relaxing your blood vessels. When potassium drops too low, your muscles become weak. You get cramps. Your heart rhythm becomes dangerous. You can find potassium in bananas, potatoes, sweet potatoes, spinach, beans, avocados, and tomatoes. Potassium keeps your electrical system stable. Sodium. Sodium balances fluids in your body. It sends nerve signals. It makes muscles work. Sodium and potassium work together to create electrical charges. These charges let nerves communicate. Sodium also controls blood volume and blood pressure. It does this by managing how much water your body keeps. The problem is not sodium itself, the problem is eating too much sodium. Processed foods, restaurant meals, and packaged snacks have too much sodium. When you eat too much, 
Your body holds extra water. This raises your blood pressure. It puts stress on your heart. When sodium is very low, you feel weak and confused. You feel dizzy. Your muscles cramp. Most sodium should come from natural whole foods, not from added salt or processed products. Selenium. Selenium protects your cells from damage. It supports your thyroid. Selenium is part of proteins that stop harmful molecules from destroying your cells. While iodine makes thyroid hormones, selenium activates them. When selenium is low, your immune system becomes weak. Your thyroid does not work well. You may have higher risk of heart problems over time. Too much selenium is toxic. It causes hair loss and nerve damage. You can find selenium in Brazil nuts, tuna, halibut, sardines, chicken, eggs, and brown rice. Just one Brazil nut gives you all the selenium you need for one day. Phosphorus. Phosphorus works with calcium to build bones and teeth. But phosphorus does more than this. Every cell uses phosphorus to make ATP. ATP is the energy molecule that powers everything in your body. Phosphorus makes the structure of your DNA and RNA. It builds cell walls. It turns on enzymes that break down fats and carbs. Low phosphorus is rare. When it happens you feel muscle weakness, bone pain, and extreme tiredness. Too much phosphorus comes from sodas and processed foods. This pulls calcium out of your bones and makes them weak. You can find phosphorus in salmon, chicken, turkey, eggs, Greek yogurt, lentils, almonds, and whole grains. Copper. Copper helps your body use iron to make red blood cells. Without copper, iron cannot work. This creates anemia that iron pills cannot fix. Copper also helps make collagen and elastin. These are proteins that keep your skin, blood vessels, and bones strong. Copper supports your nerves and protects your cells from damage. Low copper causes anemia, weak bones, poor coordination, and memory problems. You can find copper in oysters, cashews, almonds, sunflower seeds, lentils, dark chocolate, and sesame seeds. Manganese. Manganese protects your mitochondria. Mitochondria are the parts of your cells that make energy. Manganese is part of an enzyme that stops harmful molecules from damaging your cells when they burn fuel. Manganese also helps build bone tissue. It helps enzymes process carbs, proteins, and fats. Low manganese is uncommon. When it happens, bones become weak and healing slows down. Too much manganese damages your nervous system. This usually comes from dirty water or factory exposure. You can find manganese in whole grains, oats, brown rice, pecans, spinach, pineapple, and black tea. Sulfur. Sulfur builds proteins in your body. It makes keratin, which forms your hair and nails. It makes collagen, which supports your skin and joints. Inside your cells, sulfur makes glutathione. Glutathione is your main antioxidant. It protects cells and helps your liver remove toxins. Sulfur also helps make insulin. Insulin is the hormone that controls blood sugar. When sulfur is low, your hair becomes brittle. Your nails become weak. You feel tired. This usually happens when you do not eat enough protein. You can find sulfur in eggs, meat, fish, garlic, onions, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. Chloride. Chloride keeps your fluids balanced. It keeps your body's acid levels stable. It works with sodium and potassium. Chloride helps your stomach make hydrochloric acid. This acid breaks down food. It kills bad bacteria before they enter your intestines. Chloride also helps move carbon dioxide from your tissues to your lungs. Low chloride is rare. It happens with severe vomiting, heavy sweating, or dehydration. When chloride drops, your muscles become weak. They twitch. Your digestion does not work well. You can find chloride in table salt, seaweed, tomatoes, celery, and olives. Molybdenum. Molybdenum helps break down waste and toxins in your body. It activates enzymes that process sulfur compounds. It clears alcohol waste products. It handles drug waste that your kidneys need to remove. Without enough molybdenum, waste builds up inside you. Low molybdenum is extremely rare. This is because molybdenum is in many common foods. Your body only needs very small amounts. Too much can cause joint pain. You can find molybdenum in lentils, black-eyed peas, lima beans, kidney beans, oats, and whole grains.